Hello guys, welcome. My name is Amulde and you are watching Tumid. In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose a perfect theme for your WordPress project. So whether it's a blog, a website, portfolio site or whatsoever website. Okay. So choosing a right theme today in 2019 makes a lot of difference to your like performance website performance ranking user experience and when it makes a good positive difference you make more money okay uh, you rank higher okay so that's what we're going to talk about today in this video so as we know WordPress has changed a lot recently in 2018 and 19 uh, a lot of things have come up react has changed how things used to be rendered on the browser so if you've heard of react js by facebook it works on a principle that's called dom diffing that literally means the minimal change is loaded the minimum ui is loaded when you click on a particular link okay so and i think this principle and idea is kind of going crazy everywhere on the web when it comes to uh, designing and uh, coding the front end today and somehow it has also influenced the WordPress community and the theme development or, or the WordPress front-end development. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. And there are a few other things that are most important today that were not kind of years back, few years back. So today when we are or i or you going to choose a theme we are thinking about the technical stuff as well uh, not just the appearance and the design okay the technical stuff come first okay so you can see there are thousands of themes available in the themes directory wordpress themes directory if you go here you can get so many themes today okay it's not loading uh, because maybe my internet is slow but that's not an issue so anything we choose from here we are still going to make some changes or customize that particular theme to uh, basically for our project or or whatever we want to serve to the audience and so and after making all those customizational changes we still struggle and try to make things like technical things work better and better and we keep customizing every now and then there when there is a change or update or something has come up in the, in the industry so very wonderful thing that wordpress team or uh, or the automatic uh, team has done is basically created a starter theme for WordPress theme developers or WordPress users you can see it's available at WordPress sorry underscores dot me and what you can do basically create a starter theme you can see so many lovely people are contributing to this wonderful project and you can simply go ahead and create a, a starter theme just put a name here and hit generate if you need a few things here like WooCommerce boilerplate you want to sassify instead of CSS you can check these boxes and generate a theme these are very self-explanatory things here once it's downloaded go ahead and upload it to the themes directory on your system I already have one here 
activated on this local system you can see it's way faster than many themes like most of themes available in this themes directory not only that it it gives you few things that we do not care when we are going to launch a like normal project could be a blog or a website so what I'm talking about these are very simple things that I'm going to show you I'm going to quickly audit this uh, theme so I'm going to use Google Chrome browser and I'm using uh, Lighthouse which is a latest tool which is going to audit performance progressive web app uh, and this theme is not optimized for progressive web app it's it's kind of uh, plugin thing that is done in WordPress community best practices accessibility and SEO so this is going to cover these things audit these things here and it shouldn't take a long time here on local system so you would be able to see it yourself now okay so the process is very simple you can see it scores like 100% on performance 92 on accessibility best practices uh, because I have not done any kind of server tweaking I'm running Apache uh, and it's not serving HTTP 2 on HTTP 2 and um, it's not listening like passively so it's kind of HTTPS and passive listener is not uh, configured on the server otherwise you'll get in green okay so these things are basically uh, audited on the themes part okay and this is kind of SEO that we do progressive web app is generally is part of theme uh, overall project but in WordPress community you can do this with help of plugin you make sure you have a HTTP uh, S installed or SSL installed and then go ahead and install a plugin you would be good to go uh, so that's all we need from a theme okay we need performance accessibility and best practices so everything you get with this wonderful underscore theme uh, starter theme and if you make anything based on this you're going to score good on these three things accessibility performance and uh, best practices I'm not saying you have to use underscores like all the means what do you need to do whenever you're going to choose a theme from anywhere from the WordPress themes directory or anywhere else you purchase it from make sure you run this audit and if your theme is like scoring okay like in green you are good to go so that's all i had to say about choosing a right theme today in 2019 or 2020 uh, for wordpress project or for any project for that matter whatever technology you're going to use if you're going to score good on these things you are going to rank higher your uh, visitor is going to be happy on your system so you can see it's it loads very fast and so that's all we need okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question comment below if you have any suggestion please leave your comment below as well and Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye for now.